everybody and welcome back to another Uniforms and Heraldry book. Last week we got to look at the Clan Pestilence, the very sickly, vile, poisonous looking clan rats. Definitely something you don't want to miss so make sure to go back and check that. So let's just jump straight into what we're going to be looking at this week. So this week we're going to be looking at Clan Molder. Um, as I like to call these guys the creators because these guys are crazy, they will make anything. But let's have a look. Clan Molar are the undisputed masters of breeding, mutating and surgically creating horrif horrific fighting creatures and monstrous beasts of war. Not one the clan can field an entire army of grotesque mutated war beasts. The lonesome or the loathsome stronghold of Clan Molar, known as Hell Pit, lies deep within the northern wastes. The many foul creatures that roam this land provide the raw material used in the clan's breeding pits, skin forges and flesh laboratories. That sounds so bad, flesh laboratories. Such is the demand for these ferocious creations that Clan Molar is one of the wealthiest of all Skaven clans. While many are jealous of Clan Molar's might, few dare to openly challenge them. The Clan Molar Spine Rune is a common brand amongst the clan's pack masters, as are symbols of the glowing green rat and crude renderings of the whips and prodders used to go the beasts that have made the clan infamous. So these guys, these guys sound like the mad scientists, maybe. These sound like your Dr. Frankenstein type of guys. Um, especially, where was that part that I read? Um, skin forges and flesh laboratories. Holy shit, and breeding pits. Whoa, these guys. Um, so here, first off, we have your master molder. Um... And the thing with these guys, you don't really see the creators. I think the molders maybe are the creators, but these are like their um their masters. Well you have pack masters, so I suppose maybe they're that as well. Um The collars and cowls worn by the Skaven of Clan Molder tend to be the bright crimson in colour. The clan's rat ogres are trained not to attack those wearing the red rags. Though they frequently seem to enrage the foul tempered beasts even further. Oh, that's a cool little fact that I didn't know about that. And you can see it under the chain he's holding. Kind of the red rag, rag hang, hanging down. Um, and then below you can see your rat ogre and your pack master with the, with the whip with two ends on it. And your dagger. So you're not going to see a lot of like big weapons of these guys. These are going to rely more on your, on your beast that they're creating. And you can see the rats on the bottom. These are giant rats. Um, they're not just there for show. I know these guys that have giant rats that are bigger than normal rats. Uh, these guys that have like bandages on them, and the, and you can see that the the rune marks are like shaved into them. You can see them from through their fur on their skin. Um, definitely a cool army. Here you can see the master molder. Now I really love the look of this master molder. He's like he's a little bit chubbier. He looks like a real boss guy. Who's in charge of everything that doesn't do as much work. That's why he's a little bit more chubbier. But the weapon he has is. Um, oh what is that. It's like a, let's see if it says it here. I can't remember what it's called. Rat ogres are horrifying beasts that combine the speed and ferocity of Skaven. With the brute strength of a hulking ogre. These mishappens. Or these mis misshapen monstrosities. Are one of the most feared and successful. Of clan molars and numberless creations. Um. Yeah, I can't remember what that weapon he has is called, but to use them to kind of to prod the rat ogres into battle. But the rat ogre looks cool. One arm is missing; he has the blade coming down, and um, as well as kind of like the armor on the shoulders, and he has a bit going over the eye as well. So the kind of the colors you can use is pretty much anything really. There's not a whole lot in this army. Um, as colour wise with clan rats and everything because the only kind of clan rats in it or the rats in it are the the master molders and the pack masters and everything so you're not going to have a whole lot of them as long as that I think that if, if they have like the red rag going around their neck that's a really little nice detail that I didn't know about it looks so cool Um, here and then kind of you can see a guy here with it's like a I think it's like called a warp stone whip as well as like a dagger or a short sword in the other hand. As for the banners on the bottom, pretty kind of scaveny. Um I would like to know the clan molder spine room. I wonder if that's the banner that's on the very front. 
with the, with the spine and that, or the with the with the rune marking and that's kind of it goes along with it. Maybe that could be their spine rune. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like the kind of triangular banner, but the rest of them are kind of pretty normal skaven. And um, you have your bit of green in there to represent the warp stone. As long as you get all your your markings and everything in there, it's pretty cool. But definitely try to include. I think what did it say it was? The glowing green wrath and the crude renderings of the whips and prodders. Oh, I can see it now. I think the first banner here kind of looks like the prodder that he has. Maybe. Pretty cool, but um, not really known for their colours and their uniforms and everything. But Clan Molder are definitely one of the coolest clans out there. Um, they make monsters for Christ's sake, you can't ask for anything more than that. But um, the only kind of real colour I think is necessary is like the glowing green wrath on the banners and then maybe the red rag around the neck as well. So that was Clan Molder. Kind of a funny choice to have in the uniforms and heraldry book. But I think they had to be because they're one of the big main factions um, in this game. They're not really known for their kind of colourful outlook or anything like that. Or any, any kind of colour or unification in uh, specifically. But um, the red rag around the neck, that was a really nice addition. I like that. If anything had to be, you got, if you had to get anything from this, it was definitely that. Uh, the glowing green rat on the banner. The banners are pretty much... Just a scaven banner until I looked a bit further and one of them did look like one of the prods that the Master Molder had. So that's a, that's a really cool little banner to have. Um, but uh, I think they're, the, the Clan Molder are more interesting for what they make rather than what they look like. Well, maybe what, the, maybe what the monsters look like, definitely. But anyway, if you guys like this, make sure to hit the like button and comment below and subscribe if you haven't. And once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next video.